Welcome to All You Can Syrians. Welcome for your monthly horoscope for April 2015. And it's another month with eclipses and with a lot going on. So I made a separate video because otherwise these ones are going to be too long. A separate video about a lunar eclipse, which is very important for you as you are ruled by the moon. And um, so the lunar eclipse on the 4th of April will have... Um, its importance for you as a Cancerium. Now check out that video if you want to know it a bit more in detail, but I'm going to mention it here, what it means specifically for you Cancerium. Now Cancerians will feel it in general, but um, those who are born or have an, um, an ascendant sign or a moon sign or a sun sign around 13, 14, 15, 16 degrees will feel it the most and those will be the ones who are born around um, the 5th, the 6th, the 7th, the 8th, the 9th of July. So they will feel it the most but in general you will feel this eclipse. Now eclipses are there to give us understanding, to give us um, uh, uh, um, a very clear view. That is what eclipses are all about, especially the lunar eclipses. They give us understanding. And understanding is good, but um, it's for better or for worse. For some, the, the understanding will prompt them into new actions in the future. And uh, that can be sometimes hard. And for others, it's not hard. It's very dependent on your context. But whatever it is for you Cancerians, this, this lunar eclipse happens in the deepest, the, the deepest um, position of your chart, which, which is the fourth house, which is ruled by Cancer as well. So it's a very Cancerian kind, kind of house. And the fourth house is about your home and family. So there are things that are revealing itself, that are coming to a climax, that are shifting, maybe that have to do with your parents, that has to do with your house situation. Maybe there are going to be moves, maybe there are going to be renovations, maybe you're going to um, uh, work at home, or maybe you are going to make some drastic changes because there is something that reveals itself that home and family is is like, you know, you need to balance it, it, it more out. Um, so the moon is there in your fourth house, but the sun, of course, is in your tenth house of work and career. So it's always two houses that are interconnected with uh, lunar eclipses and that can be triggered for you. So um, Pluto and Uranus are involved in this. So in other words, the Pluto-Uranus square, which is not exact anymore now in April, but it is still there, is activated by the eclipse. So especially for those who have planets around those times, it can mean big shifts now, considering home and family. This is very general, of course. And, um, but the positive, so, and shifts that, um, uh, the moon is in Libra, so you will be a bit more detached, a bit more, um, Libra is an air sign, and that is really uh, thinking before it does something. But it is triggered by Uranus, and Uranus is a very restless planet that um, if things go too far, it wants to cut the cords. It, it, has an, it had enough and it wants to liberate itself. So it's that kind of energy. So if there is something at your work situation or at your home level situation that you had enough of, it's probably now the time to take the courage and to make the actions to liberate yourself, but doing it with, you know, with a clear mind and with clearness there. And the positive thing, thing I, I think is that um, the asteroid Psyche is involved here. Psyche is an asteroid that is about the soul. It's about the soul and the spirit. And it's in a very special position during this eclipse. Psyche is next to the sun in your 10th house. And the sun also represents clearness and understanding spirit and consciousness. So there is like this huge consciousness, huge understanding, huge authenticity about maybe uh, this, this uh, puzzle 
that is um, uh, that the, the whole puzzle is becoming clear for you when it and and it starts maybe with work maybe that you say okay here are some things that need to be done need to be redone need to be changed 180 degrees and therefore it has an impact on my home and my family but this is what i want this is what my soul wants and that is the best for everybody not only for myself so not out of an ego a kind of place but out of a place that is more divine that is more you know God if you like or if you don't believe in God with something that is bigger than you that the universe for instance that is supporting your shift that you want to take so it's quite quite important for uh, you Cancerians uh, this month um, a minor thing that is happening, but I, I still want to mention it, is, is Venus. Venus is, um, as from the 12th, shifting into um, your 12th house, as from the 12th in the 12th house, into Gemini. And is bumping into Saturn and Neptune. What does it mean? Venus in the 12th means taking time off. Or it means um, what you love to do, you do it behind the, the scenes. You do it not in front of everything and everybody. Can mean a thousands of things, but let's put it in a positive way. It could mean that you listen to some music and that gives you this uh, reload of the batteries. Or you, um, and things that you do by yourself. Uh, because Venus in the 12th house can mean enjoyment just by being still, just by meditating. Um, although it is in Gemini, although it, it, it can mean communication, but behind the scenes. Whatever it is, there can be around the middle of the month a bit of frustration. And frustration uh, because it is triggered by Saturn and Neptune. Saturn is reality, Neptune is ideals. So... If there is something that you love but that and that you don't want to show for some reason but that um, you've been too idealistic about, um, reset your course because otherwise you, you will get more disappointed. Or if there is something that you love and that you haven't been working hard enough for and you know that you need to, reset your course as well and work harder on it. So that's just uh, basically this uh, Venus, uh, Saturn, Neptune thing going on. So it's not that drastic for you Cancerians, but it can mean um, something important that you like and that you need to adjust in some sort of way. So this is it for you Cancerians. Have a good eclipse. Um, check out the other video if you like. I wish you all the best. Remember Psyche there, that little planet there, uh, planetoid or asteroid or how do you call it? So, um, so it's good to be in line with your own soul and uh, on a deep level. So it's a good time for you to meditate actually. Have a good time you can see and see you next month. Bye bye.